Well, I'm done with my aero quad shield. Um, I think I did all right. I had a little bit of issues with the six degrees of freedom board. Uh, I had headers already pre-soldered to it, and then I did that to the shield as well. And then I had to take them off and uh, had a real bitch of a time. I was really worried I damaged the board, but uh, after testing, it all seems to be working well. Uh, I got these three pin headers here. Uh, from Spark uh, Fung that I, I used, and they're really sweet. Um, they made it really nice to hook up all the motors and stuff. Um, the AeroQuad Mini, or the Arduino Mini Pro, uh, went on pretty well. I also soldered on some pins for the FTDI board. Uh, worked out all right. Um, everything looks pretty good. I was really happy with the way that all the solder connections came out. They look nice. On the back side, they were pretty flat. Uh, pretty solid, no real big burns on the board or anything like that. Uh, I'm out of practice with soldering, but I did did pretty darn good here. Let me, camera's not focusing, but felt pretty good about those. Um, I also wired on uh, a connector here to uh, to get this up to my harness, which I've now modified the harness to have the other side of this connector on. Uh, which which it didn't come with. I was kind of disappointed that the harness was really awesome for power distribution for all the motors, but um, nothing for you know my my aero quad shield. Uh, so I got I had a couple of these connectors over from one of the other harnesses I bought that didn't have the nice XT60 connectors. I, I tend to like these connectors better than the than the other ones I had. So uh, I definitely rigged it up. Got it going, tested uh, with my ohm meter to make sure I didn't short anything in the harness or make a dumb mistake. Uh, I got done calibrating the, the six degrees of freedom board and I uploaded my AeroQuad software. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about this board. It, it works really well and uh, was easy to put together and uh, worked the first time after I did some simple meter testing. Uh, now I just got to rig it all up with my ESCs to my actual frame. So uh, we'll see that next time.